audio recordings are a rich resource in the Seattle Municipal Archives. Almost all recordings are of City Council regular and committee meetings. The audio recordings enable voices from the community, often not available elsewhere, to be heard. The audio also often records the relationships among City Council members and their decision-making process. Public hearings were held regularly to hear comments from residents of Seattle on a variety of topics from utility rates to civil rights. In addition to city officials, department representatives, and concerned residents, Many community groups are represented at meetings, such as the NAACP, Seattle Gay Alliance, and Radical Women. Audio recordings are frustrating for archivists exactly because they are so rich. There is no easy way to produce transcriptions. Lists of speakers are not easily available. It is only the careful work of archivists listening to each recording and indexing them that enables the voices on the recordings to be discoverable by others. It is time-consuming but exciting because you never know whose voices you'll hear especially at public hearings. At a public hearing chaired by Jeanette Williams on April 23, 1970, regarding the establishment of what became the Women's Commission, one woman gave public comment for 12 minutes. She spoke eloquently about the unique role of women, about peace and poverty, and how racism was ignorance. She gave specific recommendations about the proposed Women's Commission. She introduced herself as Mrs. Raymond J. Gautier, Mrs. Raymond J. Gaucher, G-A-U-T-I-E-R. The website Black Past told me her name was Freddie May Heard Gautier, and she lived from 1930 to 2001. Although she had aspirations to enter politics, she never held a public office. She helped found the Benefit Guild, worked to register voters, and was an activist in her community. She worked for the Central Area Motivation Program and became director of the Model Cities Group Home Program that provided homes for delinquent youth. She did much more. I had never heard of her. I love this audio recording of Freddie May Gauthier because it brings her to life, teaching me, with the help of Black Past, about a significant Seattle resident that contributed powerfully to our community. In this recording, we hear why she felt so passionately about the Women's Commission and her views on women and society. This is only an excerpt of her 12-minute public comment. You can hear the entire speech in audio event 162, starting at minute 13. Enjoy. Uh, pretty leg, okay? Thank you very much for inviting us here this evening. First, I want to kind of give an answer to Dr. Hedrick's statement why we as women want some of these things. We're not actually asking for any special favors. We just want what is due us. And I think myself as a black woman doubly want because I'm discriminated against from two different standpoints. And I know that you are assembled here as conscientious citizens and lawmakers this evening who are seriously concerned about our nation and the survival of the decency and goodness in the world, present as well as in the future. This is a sick nation. America is divided and crippled by racism, hate, poverty, and war. Any nation that spends $30 billion to get to the moon and less than $3 billion for poverty and poor is a sick nation. Racism, law and order is nothing more for us as women than bad law and disorder. Leading to legal lynchings and murders, whether you are talking about deep in the heart of Dixie or here in Seattle, Washington. Here. 